Kumusta? Ngayon ay may bago na naman tayong pag-aaralan at may bago na naman kayong matututunan dito sa Sir D Vlogs and Tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about the classification of matter, the pure substance, and the mixture. Let us define first what is matter. Matter is defined as anything that occupies space and has mass and weight, and it is all around us. It is the stuff that the universe is made of. Matter can be classified into several categories. Main categories are pure substances and mixtures. Let's have first the pure substances. A pure substance has a constant composition. All specimens of a pure substance have exactly the same makeup and properties. It is made of only one kind of particles and has a fixed or constant structure. Pure substances can be divided into two classes, that's elements and compounds. Pure substances that cannot be broken down into simpler substances by chemical changes are called the elements. Element is a pure substance that consists of only one type or kind of atom. It is also divided into three classes, that's metal, nonmetal, and metalloid. What is the difference between the three? Let's have metal. In the periodic table, you can see stair-stepped lines starting at boron and going all the way down to polonium, except for germanium and antimony. All the elements to the left of that line can be classified as metals. Metals are malleable. They can be hammered into very thin sheets. They are also ductile. They can be drawn into thin wires. They are also shiny and good conductors of heat and electricity. Now let's go to the nonmetal. In the periodic table, except for the elements that border the stair steps line, the elements to the right of the line are classified as the non metals. Non metals have properties opposite those of the metals. They are brittle, dull, and poor conductors of both heat and electricity. Now the metalloid. The elements that border the stair-stepped line are classified as metalloids. The metalloids or the semi-metals have properties that are somewhat of a cross between metals and non-metals. Metalloids tend to be economically important because of their unique conductivity properties which make them valuable in the semiconductor and computer chip industry.
we are done with the element now let's go to the compound a compound is a pure substance formed when two or more chemical elements are chemically bonded together we have three types of compound the ionic covalent and the metallic compound an ionic compound is a compound formed by ions bonding together through electrostatic forces. It is made of two or more elements, and those elements are metal and non-metal, like sodium chloride. Sodium is metal, and chlorine is a non-metal. In other words, metal plus a non-metal is equals to an ionic compound let's have another example we have here zinc and oxygen zinc is a metal oxygen is a non-metal they form an ionic compound which is zinc oxide another example we have here aluminum and carbonate aluminum is a metal and a carbonate which is composed of carbon and oxygen are both non-metal now let's have the covalent compound a covalent compound is made up of two or more non-metal elements like water, H2O, hydrogen, and oxygen are both non-metals. Methane, CH4, carbon is a non-metal and also hydrogen is a non-metal. And we have C2H4O2, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. These three elements are non-metal elements. Again, Ionic compound is a combination of metal and non-metal. Covalent compound is a combination of both non-metals. And a metallic compound is a combination of two or more different metals. Just like brass, it is an alloy of copper and zinc. A combination of two metal elements gold jewelry it is an alloy of gold silver copper and zinc combination of different metal elements now your turn determine the following pure substances as element or compound for an element identify if it is a metal non-metal or metalloid for a compound identify if it is an ionic covalent or metallic compound first we have lithium is it an element or a compound it is an element is it metal or non-metal or metalloid that is a metal very good <coughs> next we have silver iodide is it an element or a compound that is a compound what type of compound ionic covalent or metallic silver is a metal and iodine is a non-metal therefore it is an ionic compound very good <coughs> next we have phosphorus monoxide is it an element or a compound that is a compound what type of compound? Since phosphorus is a non-metal and oxygen is also a non-metal, therefore it is a 
covalent compound. Very good! And next we have Polonium Is it an element or a compound? Polonium is an element What type of element? It is a metalloid Very good! Summary Again, pure substance can be an element or a compound. Element, one atom, compound, two or more atoms. And element can be metal, non-metal, or metalloid. And compound can be an ionic, covalent, and metallic compound.